Hi guys, it's Fran and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing a mortician's tale. I don't know much about this game uh, rather than we're a mortician um, and I normally don't tend to look the games up too much because I just want to like dive in. So let's go. September 14th, 10.15 a.m. Oh, hello. Is it me? Um, how do I... Oh. Point and click, alright. We've got mail. Hello, welcome to our new fu funeral director. Oh, I'm a director. Welcome, Charlie. Nice to meet you. My name's Matthew, and I'm merely going to be the man who delivers the bodies to you and helps with some of the more heavy lifting. Ever hear that joke about a hearse driver? I'll tell it to you when I come by in a bit. Looking forward to working together. I think you'll enjoy working here. Amy is a sweetheart, but she runs a tight ship. Nothing, ca nothing you, you can handle, I'm sure. She wouldn't have barred you otherwise. Cheers and good luck. Matthew J. Okay, so from Amy Rose. Hello, Charlie. Well, you're new here, so it's probably best I explain where everything is. In your office preparation room, you'll find your cremation station, cremulator station. I think that's how it. Embalming station, and obviously, since you're reading this email, your desk and your computer area. Duh. I know you have experience working with these stations, but please let me know if you have any questions. All right, so who's this? Jen Love. I guess she's my friend. Good luck, you beautiful and smart babe, you. Uh, I guess my subject lines to you should start being more professional now. Now that we are business professionals. I can't wait to get your reply so I can see your fancy new email signature. I love that you were able to land this gig straight after graduating. It sounds super cool. I didn't know I didn't even know mom and pop funerals or anything until now. Oh maybe it's her sister. I guess it's not something I really think that much about. I should look more into this, learn about your world and industry because, as I said, you are now a very serious professional. Speaking of being a professional, my museum gig is amazing. I can't believe somebody paid me to move to London and not London on serial killer capital of Canada to work in a museum. Like, take, the, take that everyone said I couldn't get a job with an art history degree. I'll tell you more about it when we Skype. My stories require you to see my face and that you hear my excellent British accent impersonation. So, like I try. <laughs> um, also, I signed up for I signed you up for funerals monthly newsletter. Consider it your graduation gift. I love you. I'm super proud of your gift. Love you, love you, love you. All right. Okay. So. Hello, Charlie. Hope you settled in okay so far. Well, I'm just reading emails, so I, I guess. Matthew should have dropped off your first body for you to work on. Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked around yet. He said you were really friendly and he's glad to have someone young and lively to work with. You got used to his sense of humor. Your first body is Mrs. Garcia, an elderly woman who died suddenly of a heart attack. The family has asked for a closed casket funeral, so no embalming or body preparation is necessary. The family seems a little bit more united than previous families will de we've dealt with. Strange how grief affects people differently. Perhaps having more time to say goodbye makes things a bit easier, if that's possible. That being said, although you will not be embalming Mrs. Garcia, I do think it's important it's important to take the time to clean her body. No one is going to see her body, but I like to encourage my funeral directors to do this out of respect of the deceased um, and their loved ones. You'll find Mrs. Garcia in the prop room. Talk soon, Amy. Um, 
Okay, newsletter, let's, I'm not gonna need it, so don't be on your cell phone, okay? Don't be loud, don't get drunk. Happy reminis, give her, dress appropriately. Okay, well, we'll get to that. Uh, I don't see, okay, what's here? Yeah, oh, I didn't respond. Crap. Oh, she's here, all right. Um, this is the prep room where you will prepare bodies for burials and viewings. Um, okay. Because the family has requested a closed casket, ceremony will know um, embalming. You are just going to clean the body. Click on the sponge and drag it over the body you. Oh, like that, okay. Okay, that's it, you're done. Mr. Garcia will be sent to Michael, will take care of dressing and put her in a casket. It's time to go to Mrs. Garcia's funeral. We are responsible for taking care of the deceased body, but it's also important that you pay your respect to their loved ones, okay? Follow the arrow, the arrow to the head to the funeral parlor. Um, okay. Oh, here. Okay, so... Uh, let's... Maybe these people? I heard the family specifically said no embalming, I thought it was mandatory, like required by law, but I guess not. Um, okay. Embalming weirds me out. Do those chemicals slitch into the ground? Seems strange to be using a chemical that is known to cause cancer and put it into the ground like that. Um, I don't know how this works, so I'm not really sure or into the sewer that's what they must do with the leftover formal data right just pour it down the drain i don't know at least embalming guarantees you won't be buried alive um you're not alive either but okay this is not the time to laugh you're really rude maybe these people i'd God, I hate wearing pantyhose. My legs are so itchy, but it's always so cold in these funeral homes. I think I might actually miss the sweaters you used to knit for me now. Oh, I'm really sorry. Don't lag, please. Um, let's just pay our respects. Let's just talk to people. She would have hated these paintings, she was so particular. Yeah, at least she doesn't have to see them, I guess. That's... <sighs> yeah, I guess. And who are you? We usually don't small talk a lot with these things, at least that's what I was always taught. Oh yeah. Um, let's just do it one more time. I guess oh the child um okay October eleventh ten oh nine Yes I heard give me a second yes um oh god okay so let jesus i'm not gonna read this through okay next job 
You're in the instruction for your next body. You did a remarkable job on the first one, thank you. The family was very happy with you. No small feat, of course. Pleasing a grieving family isn't exactly the most comfortable of jobs. Your next job is a man named Mr. Duval. An elderly man died of old age. Nothing fancy, just a standard funeral with embalming. You can reach out to his daughter, Lizzie Duval, if you have any questions. She's handling her father's passing as well as can be expected. Okay. Uh, oh, here. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's start by cleaning the body. All right. I think it's so. you have to massage the body click can drag over the body oh like that okay okay give me a second i'm just going slowly okay Click and drag an eye cap into it. Is it this one? Okay. Uh, like that? Okay. Do they really do this? So no need to throw the thing like that. Okay. Um. Like that. Oh, in in the same thing. Okay. Additional tubing, okay. I'm sorry, like that. I don't understand what I'm. Um,
so lang. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, it sounds like a bit of a morbid question, but what do they do with the blood? I mean, do they just throw it away? Alright. Okay, let's... who do we talk to first? These two. Well, it's a funeral. You're not supposed to wear white. Oh? Okay. These two? It came out of nowhere. What came out of Oh, okay. Well, yeah. It's weird to think about for too long, like staring at the sun. I start to feel all fuzzy when I think about it. Well, it is a bit of a weird thought, I suppose. Okay. He always wanted to take his grandsons to the park, play catch. He loved playing catch. He threw a mean curveball, that's for sure. Okay, and you? Okay. Um, let's just pay our respects. Can we sign the book? No. Yes, I've heard, I've heard. Okay, today's funeral is for a woman who died from breast cancer. Oh God, nothing fancy, just a standard cremation. Um, okay, I'll get to you in a minute. Oh. Hi Amy, thank you for the wonderful evening you and your staff put together for my father's funeral. It, well, it wasn't always an easy man to get along with, but I'm glad to have seen him off such in, in such a kind way. Oh, okay. Oh the Okay, I think this is quite important. If you've been a long time subscriber to our emails, well, not really, but okay. Or follow us on social media. You've no doubt heard about the misgendering that transgender people are at times. At times, I wouldn't say that, but okay. Subjected to during their funerals. There have been notable situations where trans women have had their wishes overruled by their families and have had their uh, cat are buried under the wrong names. Oh, that's awful. And subjected to the wrong pronouns in the obituary announcement. We care a lot about this because we believe in treating every person with the same level of compassion, respect and care. Absolutely true. And this is absolutely and this absolutely extends to pronouns and respecting the deceased wishes as per their lived experiences. The CDC's Funeral Director's Handbook on Death Registration and Fetal Death Reporting offers the fraud directive. 
Enter male or female based on observation. Do not abbreviate or use other symbols. If sex cannot be determined after verification with medical records, inspection of the body or other sources, enter unknown. Do not leave this item blank. Leave it up to observation, obviously enters into a world of issues since body can be so different and because of ingrained bias people can draw incorrect assumptions based on their own inaccurate observations. California has passed what is known as the Respect Act of Death Act, which states that death certificate must reflect the deceased gender identity as they lived it. So a step in the right direction. I mean I think it's in in this world we live it comes like for me it's a no-brainer i mean you should you should respect anyone's wishes no matter like if they're straight or or gay or whatever so people who are trans deserve the same respect in that exactly they're people who are cis gender received well they should reserve, deserve respect in life as well. Misgendering in that takes away disrespect. I agree. It can also inflict hurt and trauma on spouses and friends that survived the deceased. I, I guess that's the case. So what can we do as funeral directors? Listen to the people who come into your office. In America especially, some marriages may not be recognized as legal depending on the laws around same-sex marriage. But this doesn't mean that you're not dealing with two people who have loved each other in the same way as another couple. Listen, learn, and always be respectful respectful while you have to work with the next of kin your duty is also to ensure the deceased receive the utmost utmost respect in their burial if a funeral is to honor the deceased then do that honor them this was a really really good newsletter okay let's uh. Okay, so I'm not getting paid. Awesome. Let's see. Well. Uh, okay. Sure, fine, whatever. Okay, let's get back on this. Or, right, okay. Okay, don't lag, please. Clothing and jewelry, okay. This one places in the coffee on okay. Oh, just like that? Okay. This one from uh, okay, like that, or like that, oh, like that. No, uh. oh, do we need to remove the necklace as well?
I tried this. Okay. these people glad she was cremated and unlike in an open casket or something similar like that i don't know if i could have well you could always have a closed casket at least we all got to say goodbye she would have liked that okay let's go talk to you she fought really hard she was proud of herself, she never gave up, not once. She would have hated this music. She never wanted a funeral to be sad. She would have wanted a smiling, she said so. Okay, these two. This is nice in a weird way. She'd like that we're all here talking. She always tried to keep the family together. Oh. Yeah, I don't... I mean... Uh, why can I just... No, okay. Well... Valentine's Day. That's awful. I'm here. There you go. It is with a very heavy heart that I write to let you know that Rose and Daughters would no longer be in business. I had no idea how to start this email and resources I googled told me that would be the best and easiest way to break the ice. Be direct and remorseful, Google said. Um, you could have probably not said that bit, but okay. The truth is, I don't really know what to say. Since my father passed away, I've done my best to make Rose and Daughters warm and friendly to anyone who chose, us, um, who chose to use our services. It was my memorial to him, the original Rose, in a lot of ways. And you've all become like family including you charlie our most recent addition but it's been getting harder to make ends meet oh don't i know that rent is going up in the neighborhood and i'm finding less and less i have the energy for this business there is a lot of competition from our other funeral homes larger corporation that we are um than we are that can take our on more business and offer more impressive services you know the way it goes so we've been bought or i sold either way soon inside heritage enterprises inc a company that owns many funeral homes in the city and across the country will replace rose and daughters starting from the beginning of next month same building same name they're keeping the name rose and daughters funeral home for tax purposes Though honestly, I'm trying hard not to just see it as a move on their part to keep up the image. That it's a family run business. I don't know how I feel about that, but I also don't know if there's anything I can do at this point either. I signed the paper, at least my father's legacy is still intact somewhat. They have a good reputation and I've agreed to keep you all on. That was one of my stipulation. I would sell as long as you all weren't without a job. That's thoughtful though. Sorry I didn't tell you in a more personal way. I would have liked to have company lunch, but I admittedly didn't have the art to tell you in person. This was easier for me, please understand. Oh, that's absolutely awful. Oh, we got a thank you notes for her sister. Um. Uh, 
Okay, what am I supposed to do then? Uh, okay, so what, what am I... This jam person is so weird. Okay. This can be tricky. Okay. Okay, so we need to remove the peacemaker. Okay. just write in, in that book oh that's the daughter okay oh that's sad So this was a mortician's tale. Um, I think this game was really insightful. I mean, you obviously, when you lose somebody, you don't really get to think what happens on this side of things. So uh, I, I mean, I think it was really some somehow interesting, although a bit creepy. To kind of understand what goes in this process on let's say the other side so what do you guys think let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys soon bye